as we know, the Jurassic World trilogy loves hybrids. But one particular hybrid that is very, very unknown, and that is the Spinoceratops. Now, we got introduced to this in Character Cretaceous Season 4, and later on to see it in Season 5 of the Netflix show. But why was it created? We know why the Indominus Rex was created, the Scorpius Rex was created, and the Interrupt was created. But why was the Spinoceratops created? As we know, this is a first engine, not hybrid. This is a Manticorp hybrid. Way back from season one, when we saw Sammy taking a sample DNA test of a Cyanoceratops mouth. And as we know, Manticorp took the Spinosaurus from Isla Sauna, and bam, Spinoceratops. But why did they create it? What was the point? Was it to create more attraction for the investors later on, so they'd be attracted to Manticorp Island and they can make a profit? Or what? The Spinoceratops was kind of like a useless hybrid. It was a unique hybrid, it wasn't a killing hybrid. But we don't exactly know what purpose it solved. It was just following around with the campus. They even got names Angel and Rebel. But they literally have done nothing. Absolutely nothing other than just walking around with the campus. My guess is it's going to be like the Indominus Rex. A Star Trek -ian, but it failed because Manticorp never opened. Or Maybe Manticorp was just testing, they were the most species of fusing DNA with other DNA and splicing them, and voila, hybrid. Maybe it was unintentionally. Now, will we ever see the Spinosaurus again in the franchise? Dunno. But I'd like to see a full-grown Spinosaurus. I think that'd be way more interesting than a baby one. Like a full Spinosaurus with a big Spinosaurus vertebrae cell on. That would be pretty cool to see. In fact, it would be quite powerful. Now, I don't hate the Spinosaurus. I think it's a unique awesome hybrid i mean don't really see anything wrong with it but the spinosaurus as of right now doesn't have a reasoning then dominus rex was created because the guest satisfaction was low people seen dinosaurs for ages they were boring so they created a new hybrid to raise the ticket sales but unfortunately before they can even show the dominus rex to the public indominus rex escaped and caused the whole park to shut down the interrupt was created for military purposes in fact vic hoskins even talked about the interrupter at the end of Jurassic World explaining the fraction size of it and how it was advanced and high from advanced technology and the Scorpius Rex the reason why that was great is because that was when Dr. Henry Wu was originally creating hybrids is where he first created the hybrid and it looked horrendous realistically which is why the Indominus Rex was a vast improvement and still the most popular hybrid Universal's ever made but we go to Manticorp Island in season 4 and voila Half Cyanototos, half Spinosaurus. This hybrid has probably got the least amount of splicing DNA involved. I mean, we still don't know too much around it, but we know the base genome is a Cyanototos, and we know that the spliced DNA is a Spinosaurus. Whilst the Indirector and Dominus Rex and Scorpius Rex has got many, many other species, not even just dinosaurs, as well as modern day animals as well. So it seems like Cyanoceratops and Spinosaurus haven't really got too much DNA before the hybrid. If we go back to Jurassic World, there was supposed to be a Stegoceratops, half Stegosaurus and half Triceratops. This was actually genuinely supposed to happen. In fact, you can see it on the TV screen at the back when Vic Hoskins was talking about the Indoraptor. It was actually supposed to be in Jurassic World, but the reason why it got cut is because they didn't want to take the spotlight away from the Indominus Rex. Is this a reference to that deleted hybrid scene? I'm not sure, because the Spinosaurus is a herbivore hybrid. We've only heard of a herbivore hybrid in the past in a deleted scene was the Spinosaurus is actually the first herbivore hybrid to be on screen and to be confirmed to be canon. Here are some of my friends' opinion on the Spinosaurus. So the Spinosaurus, they're certainly a very interesting inclusion, however they, they do have their own problems. Like first of all, um, their inclusion, it, I mean, you could make the argument that, well, they needed the, the Spinoceratops DNA to go somewhere, and yeah, but I think making it just a fourth hybrid just doesn't add much, because, again, they really don't add much. It's like they, it's like when they had Bumpy as a grown-up, they like, well, shit, we don't have a, a cutesy dinosaur, well, let's have a, another hybrid as a baby. But I do like the idea, like like a Spinosaur mixed with a Sinoceratops DNA that was taken by Sammy, like, 
I do like that. I think it's more of the problems that just more can get in the way for me. I mean, they're cute, but the their inclusion, it's it's nice. I like the inclusion. It's just that the problems are more more getting focused than the positives for me. But hey, everyone has their own opinions. Um, the Spinosaurus. Um, it's a it's really refreshing. We got a herbivore hybrid and not a carnivore or a dominus ray hybrid. It's really cool that we got herbivore and the fact we got baby hybrids, I think they're really cute. That's my opinion on the Spinosaurus. They're really cute. I love the fact um, that in season four, we got like new herbivore hybrids and um, and they have, we have two, we got um, Angel and Rebel. They're actually really cute. I really like them. They have very cute eyes. They're very cute. Um, everything. And the best thing, like, Spinous, uh, they kind of the, have the body. The name is called Spinoceratops, which means they have the body of the Spinoceratops and the Spinous, the cell of the Spinosaurus. So, yeah, and overall, like, Spinoceratops, like, they play a, a kind of a medium role in the series. And, and I know we're not going to get more hybrids in the future, but if we're going to get, like, herbivores like Stegoceratops or Ankylochus, I'm down for it. Spinosaurus, it's a, it's a nice addition to the roster of dinosaurs in the franchise. A lot of people have been asking, like, how did the Spinosaurus ever existed? Well, if we yeah, at season one, you know, where the Spinosaurus part, was, when Sammy was with the Spinosaurus, he got a bit of its DNA, and the Manticore drones came in and picked up the DNA and brought it back to Manticore Island. And if you remember, Manticore also captured the Spinosaurus from Isla Sona. So then maybe he could have used the Spinosaurus DNA and and maybe and um the Spinosaurus the Spinosaurus DNA and combine them together and so I feel like that's how the hybrids were made. And there we are. That's me and my friend's opinions on the whole Spinosaurus hybrid. What do you guys think that the hybrids serve the point? Do you like the Spinosaurus? Do you think it was a waste of time? Do you think it wasn't a good addition? Do you think it was a good addition? What's your whole general thoughts and opinions on the Spinosaurus? I'm very curious to see what you guys say. Because for me, I like it. Now I did hear that some people online actually got slightly mad at the Spinosaurus because they were actually expecting a cooler herbivore hybrid. In fact, many people actually has fallen in love with the Stegoceratops and yet we've not even seen it. But people really wanted that to be in character season 5 slash 4 instead. But you know, we got the Spinosaurus in. Honestly, I don't mind the Spinosaurus. I don't really see what's wrong with it, but at the same time, it is a bit of a boring hybrid even though it is original and it brings something more refreshing anyway i'm gonna end this video now i hope you guys enjoyed this video with me and my friends discussing the spine of what's your initial thoughts on this hybrid do you like it do you dislike it and i see you guys in the next video leave a like and goodbye